Hi, I'm Katrina from Buzz and Dig. Welcome to my garden. Today I'd like to share with you some bee friendly tips on how you can make your garden a native bee oasis. Did you know in Australia we have an estimated 2,000 species of native bees? However, we're very familiar with the honeybee buzzing around our flowers in our garden. We need to actually get our bee goggles on and take a closer look at our flowers because native bees play just as important role at pollinating our fruits and our vegetables and our flowers as the honeybee. Did you know that most bees in Australia are actually solitary? It means that they live by themselves. And if you look at your pinky nail, most of our native pollinators are the size of our nail or even smaller, which means that they can't fly very far at most 80 meters to 350 meters from their nest. So when the native bees are flying over your garden, they're looking for a reliable food source in the form of uh, pollen and nectar, but also habitat, a place to nest, whether it be pithy stems or some soft silty soil or even some old tree limbs. Your garden or even the flower pots on your balcony can all play an integral role in creating pollinating stepping stones in the neighborhood. After all, the bees wanna be connected to your garden but also to the local creek, bushland or nearby park. Our native bees actually see UV colours, which means they're very attracted to plants which flower in purples and blues, followed by pinks, whites and yellows. Try and plant a lot of flowers intermingled in your veggies, but also try and plant a lot of flowers which can bloom over several weeks or months. I really like in my garden salvias, rosemary and borage, which provide a reliable food source for my native bees. But please try and support your local endemic plant species because a lot of those plants have co-evolved with a lot of our native pollinators. You can also build a simple bee hotel and place it amongst your vegetable patch to encourage the native pollinators to also stay in your garden. Try to plant some plants you can easily propagate, take cuttings from or collect the seed and share those plants with your neighbours so their backyards can also become pollinated stepping stones. And another thing, you can also let your herbs and vegetables go to seed. It's a win-win for us as we can collect the seed for the following year, but also for our native pollinators and other beneficial insects to find pollen and nectar. Plant more flowers and hopefully the native bees will be buzzing in your garden soon.